I never touched an eyeshadow that was wet. I mean, I'm dropping everything. And now it's rolling. Now it's rolling. Hold on. Let me see if it stops. It hit the closet, so it stopped. You know, I can't control myself when it comes to dark colors. I see dark colors, and I'm just like, what? Hi, friends. Welcome back. So today, I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys on ColourPop Cosmetics stuff. I have it in this Mac bag because, you know, it came in a box. I didn't really feel like keeping the box, so I just threw everything in a Mac bag that, you know, I just had laying around. I only tried a couple products so far, but everything is still in the box, so you guys get the full effect. This is not going to be a review or anything like that, only because, like I said, I only used a couple of the products and, you know, I only used a couple of the products. <laughs> This haul is probably going to be quite long, but what I love about ColourPop Cosmetics is that everything is only $5. So you will see that I did get a good amount of stuff, but again, everything is only $5, so I don't feel that bad. So when you get your little box, you know, your little ColourPop box, I got like a humongous, like the biggest box ever, and then like everything came in two separate boxes, because I guess I got so much stuff. Um, they give you this little card, like a handwritten little note, and it is literally the cutest thing. I don't want to throw this out ever, <laughs> because it is so cute. It says, mine says, hi Katie, you've stolen a pizza, pizza, like not piece of, pizza, our heart. And then it says, XOXO ColourPop, and then they drew a little pizza. I think this is the cutest card of life. Like, I just, I love pizza. I bought some of their Super Shock eyeshadows, I believe that's what they're called. And I also bought some of their lippy sticks and lippy pencils. Mm, lippy sticks and lippy pencils. I don't know about that name, but I bought them. So, I guess we'll start off with the eyeshadows because it's the first thing I saw. <laughs> so, the first eyeshadow type situation that I purchased is this Queen for a Day set. This comes with four, but really five eyeshadows, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. And pretty much all the eyeshadows in this set appealed to me and it was $20 which would be kind of the same if you bought them you know individually but whatever I like the eyeshadows so it's called Queen for Day it just comes in this little packaging and I think it is so cute the packaging on Colourpop stuff is adorable it's literally just so cute so you just take it out of this little sleeve and you see your four shadows now I was kind of put off when I saw this because to me this looks like a quad and I was like oh I don't want a quad I really didn't want a quad I kind of just wanted the single shadow which is kind of weird that I wanted that but whatever but don't worry it's not a quad so I was happy so you just open the little fold right here and you will have your four eyeshadows they just come out like this um, the first one it comes with is girly which I was gonna purchase solo Anyways, because I think it's a beautiful shade. I'm only going to swatch a couple of the things. And these eyeshadows, when you touch them, they literally feel wet. And it is the coolest thing. I mean, I know everyone says that and you're just like, they feel wet. Okay, we get it. But like, oh my god, I never, I don't know. Colourpop was floating around like social media, like especially YouTube, a lot. So I was very interested in especially the fact they're only $5. I was like, good makeup for $5? Okay, so... That's why I went a little ham. This is the shade Girly, and I just think it would be really nice for like an inner corner highlight on the lid, whatever you want to do with it. I think it'd be pretty cool. So there's Girly. Next in this little quad type thing is Bay and Shameless. It's like they're separate colors. Bay is one color, Shameless is another color, but they're kind of in this little thingy sharing a house. When you open this up, you can see there's a divider and on one side is one color and one side is the other color and I think that's pretty cool because nobody ever goes through a full eyeshadow and both of these shadows interested me and I really wanted to try them both, you know, but now for $5 I can try them both so I think it's pretty cool. I did use Bay, which is on this side. This one is Bay. I used Bay today. This side is Bay and then this side is Shameless. Bay to me looked a lot like Max Blue Brown Pigment online. In person, it kind of looks nothing like it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it did. I don't know. But I thought it looked like Blue Brown Pigment by MAC, but it doesn't. So there's Bay. I mean, I could see a resemblance maybe, but it's not the same whatsoever. 
And then this side is Shameless, which is just kind of like a hunter green, like a deep hunter green. Next shade in this little quad thingy is Sequin, which again, I was going to buy this one solo anyways. And this color to me is so beautiful. If I can open it. That's the only thing. I can never unscrew this thing. So Sequin is like a... Ooh, like a rosy a tan rose it looks like it literally looks like tan pigment from mac mixed with rose pigment from mac <laughs> that's what it looks like to me it's super beautiful i really am excited to use this color this one looks like it has kind of like silver in it i don't know i love this i really love this color and i'm so happy it came in the set because like i said i was gonna buy it anyways <laughs> the last color we have in that little trio i'm sorry that little quad is smash this is i think the only one that i was not gonna buy by itself but honestly it looks like it might be my most used one which is crazy it's kind of like a bronze but i feel like there's a hint of like taupe in it and to be honest i don't really see much I don't see much of a glitter or a shimmer or anything like that in this one. So this one might be one of the satin ones. Like, does it say? Oh, it is. This one is one of the satin ones. So I think this will probably be really good for the crease. It probably would flatter almost every single skin tone. And even though I only like to use matte in the crease, I feel like this would be really nice in the crease. So this is Smash. So the next eyeshadow that I got is Bubbly. And Bubbly is like a very cute little pink eyeshadow i love this color i was really excited for this because i feel like having a light pink that is like like this one says it's a metallic finish so having a metallic light pink on the lid would be beautiful i i love the look of that so i was really excited for this one and it doesn't look like it's going to disappoint me it looks so beautiful and in these eyeshadows you actually get 0.07 ounces which i think is kind of a lot so i love this I'm so excited for this haul, you guys. I had to, I literally had to film this, like, right away because I just want to, like, swim in these products. Okay. The next eyeshadow that I got is called Game Face. And I remember what this one looks like. This one is, like, a bronze copper kind of a deal, but it's kind of, ugh. Look at that. Look at that eyeshadow. Like, are you kidding me? This one is, like, a bronze copper kind of color. And, like, what? That is so beautiful. These shadows are so pigmented and I feel like they really do dry down to like a matte finish. Even though when you touch it, it's wet. I feel like they literally like are just like powder right now on my hand. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I really do love these eyeshadows. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So the next eyeshadow that I got is called... It's called Sugar. Sugar is supposed to be kind of a mint color and I always wanted to find the perfect mint color to put on my lid for like a little minty look. You know what I mean? Why not? So it was supposed to be that for me and oh my god, it is so pigmented. I, I don't think it's mint now that I'm looking at it. It looks more like a baby blue kind of color, but it has watched this one too. <laughs> but it's still so beautiful. Does that look mint to you guys? That doesn't look mint to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but to me that does not look mint, which is okay. The next one I have is Hammered, which is another one that I was really excited about. This one is also equally hard to open. And this one is like an olive green, but not like Shameless. Shameless, shameless is like a dark green that's almost black. But this one is like an olive green that has some type of yellow in it and gold in it. So... This one, really, I was really excited for this one. This one, I knew no matter what. Once I saw it, I was like, that's going to be in my cart no matter what. So this is hammered, and I really, really love these kind of colors. It especially is flattering in the fall. If you're one of those people who, you know, follows the rules, I think in the fall, you'll love this. The last eyeshadow that I have is one that I almost did not get, and I actually am quite happy that I did end up getting it. This one is called Tassel, and this one is just a white... Also with shimmer and glitter. I think this one's also metallic. Yes, it is. This one's also metallic. Apparently, I'm swatching everything today. I totally said I wasn't going to, but apparently I am. This, to me, on the inner corner and on the lid, again, would be everything. So, there it is right there. I feel like that is such a beautiful white shade. Usually, a white on, like, my type of skin tone would kind of look like you're trying too much, sweet. I'm spraying it down a little bit. But I feel like this eyeshadow is pigmented but sheer at the same time if that makes any type of sense i'm sure 
that it doesn't. And I feel like I could get away with it. You guys tell me if I couldn't, right? So on to the more exciting part for myself, the lippy sticks and lippy pencils. I want you guys to just take a gander into this bag. Like all the, do you see that? Do you see that? I know. This first color is grind. And I think that's purple. I think that's a purple one, if I'm not mistaken. And these are so hard to take out of the thing. I feel like you have to open both sides and like pop it out of one. You know what I mean? Because like it won't come out otherwise. But it's fine. It's not a deal breaker for me, honestly. So this is the Grind Lippy Pencil. What I love about it is that it has the finish and the name of the shade on the bottom. But it also has like the color family that it's in. So like I said, this one is a purple. And it says Grind and it's a matte finish. And I kind of like the fact that they're skinnier. I don't know. I kind of like that. I feel like people with smaller lips will really appreciate the fact that these are a little bit more skinny than like a normal lipstick. And like I said, I'm only going to swatch some of them. <laughs> Hopefully I actually stick to that. So this one is pretty and it kind of reminds me a lot of Heroin by MAC. Except for the fact that it's, oh, I don't know, like a quarter of the price. And on top of that... It is, um, it has a matching lip pencil, which I know heroin has one, but it's limited edition, so not everybody has that. I love the fact that they have matching lip pencils that just literally cuts your time in half because you don't have to be like, oh, is this going to match? Is this? No, you just, it's the same thing. So again, this is the lippy pencil. It's in white packaging, which I think is so cute. And this is grind. Oh, I didn't even show you the lippy stick. Okay. Lippy stick is the fatter swatch, and then the lippy pencil is the skinnier swatch. So, they pretty these pretty much match spot on, but I know there are some that do not do that. I know that some are a little bit darker, but I mean, it only makes sense. Because say if you have like a super duper light color, like a myth type color, you don't want a myth type lip pencil. That's going to look crazy. So, it makes sense. I see what you did there, color pop. Good one. So, the next color I have here is LBB, which is Little Black Boots, which is it was made um an instagrammer made it her name is little black boots um i didn't know about it until i saw the lip pencil i didn't know about her at all so it's just her instagram is just at little black boots if you want to check it out i guess she made this color with ColourPop. ColourPop actually collaborated with a lot of different people for some of their colors and i think that's actually pretty cool um so this one is little black boots this color i guess i'm gonna swatch this one too Clearly, I don't know how to contain myself. So, this one is LBB. This is the lippy pencil. And then this is the lippy stick. Sticks? It's S-T-I-X. So, should I say lippy sticks? Because then it sounds like it's more than one. I don't know. So, that's LBB. So, the next color I have here is Pitch, which if I recall correctly is supposed to be a brown color. And after I tried Lime Crime's Salem, you know, I was all about that brown color. So, if you guys saw this guest room right now. You would never want to be a guest in my house. <laughs> I'm literally just throwing all this stuff on the bed. You wouldn't want to be a guest here. So, this one, like I said, is a brown color. Okay, I'm going to swatch this one. I'm going to do it. And, oof, I love brown. I love brown. I do. And, mm, okay. I'm not going to lie. The lippy pencil just kind of made me sad a little bit because it literally looks much sheerer than the other ones and it looks like there's like a little bit of gray in it and I don't want gray in my brown that's just too much dookie color for me okay so but the lippy stick is like bam color in your face so there they are these are extremely creamy the one that I'm wearing right now is a matte finish and to be honest it does not feel like a matte finish at all it feels like the Maybelline creamy matte lipsticks that's what they're called the next color I have here is another dark color which I'm not gonna swatch this one I promise this one is called Elari Elari this is um another Instagrammer she made this color with color pop her name on Instagram is Elari Elari I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong I don't mean to I think this color is very very beautiful so this is the color of Elari it's kind of like a dark all right I'm just watching up I'm obviously a maniac right now. Ooh, that looks like Night Moth when I just watched that. It looks exactly like Night Moth. Like, look at that. If you saw that next to Night Moth, you would be like, why'd you swatch Night Moth twice? <laughs> and here's the lippy stick, which is a bit lighter. 
than I thought. I thought it was going to be like Night Moth and a lipstick. I was about to be like over the moon happy. It's a little bit lighter. It looks kind of like, mm, like Rebel, but like a matte version. The next one is the only lippy pencil that I didn't get the matching lippy stick with. And that's because I really love the swatch of the lippy pencil. I can't even do this. Like, <laughs> I really love the swatch of the lip pencil, but the lippy stick didn't really tickle my fancy. So this is the color Button. And I just really wanted a nice nude lip pencil. Just, that's what I wanted. So... This one, this is it right here. It looks kind of like Whirl by MAC. So the next color I have is BFF, which is the only nude color other than Button that I got. It's the only glossy formula, I believe, that I got. I think pretty much all the ones that I have are matte because I love matte. And we all know this, so why play games? So I got BFF, and the weird thing about BFF is that it has three different options on the website for lip pencils, for lippy pencils. It has BFF, then BFF2, then BFF3. So I kind of just went with BFF. This one is different from Button. It's a little bit lighter, and I feel like it has a little bit more taupe in it. We're getting literally on my arm, so you're going to see like my little arm pelitos coming out. And then the lippy, mm, the lippy stick, I'm not really too fond of. <laughs> the glossy one is not as pigmented as the rest. I kind of do really like the color though for a nude. It's kind of up on the peachy side. Since they don't match, if you look at them, they're completely different colors. I feel like it would really benefit I would really benefit from the fact that they don't match because as a lip liner, that color would look absolutely ridiculous on me. Next color I have here is Creature, which I think is a brown with like a dark brown purple. I know we're gonna see right now which I guess I'm gonna swatch this one too literally I think I'm just gonna swatch everything let me stop playing games and say I'm not gonna swatch it I'm gonna swatch it <laughs> okay so like I said this one I think is like a dark purpley brown it's not I don't think it's as brown as pitch but I think it's more like on the night moth side of life you know what I'm saying so let me show you the lip pencil, I'm sorry, the lippy pencil for, oof, for Alari and the lippy pencil for Creature are like identical. So I would not suggest getting both. They're literally the same exact color. Like, I, I, they're literally the same exact color. But let's see if the lippy pencil, lippy pencil looks a lot deeper than Alari. And it is. This is a night moth in a lipstick. So, Creature is the one you want. If you want Night Moth and a lipstick, like I know everyone does, this is the color you want. This is Creature. I like it better than Alari. Sorry, Alari. So the next color I have here is one of the ones I was the most excited about. It's not a matte, surprisingly. And it's called Wet. Wet is a taupe, but it's like a metallic taupe. And oh my god, that looks exactly like stone lip pencil. The lippy pencil for wet looks exactly like stone lip pencil. But these lip pencils are a lot smoother than MAC's lip pencils. MAC lip pencils are not drying per se, but when you put them on, it's kind of like draggy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They don't dry out your lips once they're there, but it kind of drags. These absolutely do not drag whatsoever. I was actually surprised when I put the color that I'm wearing on right That I'm wearing on. Yeah, no, that's right. The color that I'm wearing on, yeah. So I was surprised when I put the color that I'm wearing on and it didn't drag a little bit. Not even a little bit. Wet is a pearlized finish. So it is a little bit more on the sheer side, but honestly, I probably just wear the lippy pencil and that's it. It kind of looks like Viva Glam Rihanna 2 to me. Anybody else? It kind of looks like my nail polish. Yeah. And next color is the color that I'm wearing on my lips. Finally. I would have showed you guys this earlier if, you know, it came up in the pile, but it didn't come up till right now, so. And this is the color. I hope no one gets offended by what I'm about to say. This is the color Bichette. I'm pretty sure it's Bichette. I don't think it's Bichette because that's, how, that, that's not how you would spell Bichette. And I expected this color to be a little bit darker. I did. But, I mean, looking at the other colors that I have, I'm not upset whatsoever I really love the way that it went on it hasn't gotten on my teeth I think I hope <laughs> the whole time that I've been wearing it which is usually that doesn't happen the only thing is once you use it the stuff kind of gets all over the place for the lippy pencil it does get like 
all over, but it's okay. It's all right. Nobody's gonna look at my lip pencil but me, right? So there is a bichette now that my hand is like swatch fest. It's right. Oh crap, I touched wet. So that's bichette right there. The next one is Brills, which I debated buying only because the lippy stick is not matte. And I, I just, that's literally my reason. It's a lavender type color. And I thought about maybe, you know, because I do have multiple lav- Ooh, that's so pretty. I do have multiple, like, lavender pinks. So I'm like, maybe, you know, it's similar to something else, but I still bought it, so. <laughs> this one is a satin. So it's not a gloss, so it's still going to be more pigmented than the glossy. And to be honest, that's really pretty. I'm actually very happy I picked this one up. How am I going to show you this swatch? <laughs> so, <laughs> literally. Boom. So there's the lippy pencil. And then there's the lippy stick. This kind of reminds me of that lipstick by Dose of Colors called Love Potion. And also Darling by Melt Cosmetics. It reminds me a lot of that type of color. And I love those two lipsticks. So I'm excited I got one for $5. Finally, the last one that I have to show you guys is Leather. Which is another purple shade. But this one is not like heroin. This one is more like... Maybe like Instigator from the Punk Couture Collection by MAC. You guys are familiar with that kind of color it's like a very deep purple i think if you didn't get instigator this is probably super duper similar or maybe even punk couture from the punk couture collection from mac so this is it all the way in the bottom all by his lonesome i really love the fact that they have such a wide range of colors and they're so comfortable on the lips and on top of that you have your matching lippy pencils i can't even say lippy pencils like i don't really like that name i'm not gonna lie to you it feels kind of teenage. <laughs> You're better off getting the lippy pencil and just filling your whole lips in with that because like I said, they're not drying whatsoever. So you won't even feel like you have just a lip pencil on your lips. You know what I'm saying? But I do really like, like the effects that they have when they're paired together. I am gonna have my video up soon on my Artist Couture review. You know, the Artist Couture Diamond Glow powder things. Those will be up soon. Um, I am wearing one of them today. The one I'm wearing today is Conceited. I'm almost positive that I know what I feel about, like how I feel about them as a product. But I have only tried out, let me see, I think four of the colors. I've tried this one, Mermaid Fantasy, Gold Digger, and Yes. So I only tried four of them and I think there's seven altogether. So I do want to try the other three before I, you know, give my final opinion on them. Please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of my videos. Please follow me on Instagram. It's just at Katie Danger. I will leave it right here as I always do and it will be linked down below as well. And please share this video if you want, you know, if you want these for Christmas, you know, like share them on your boyfriend's page or something. Wink, wink. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!